Hey guys, we had a pretty big weekend of sales with graded cards and single cards. So I'm just going to show them all off. You know, I think it amounted to around 10,000 Australian dollars, which is pretty big, to be honest. You know, not every weekend we do some crazy amounts, probably around 60 to 70 graded cards sold and a whole big stack of singles sold. I'm doing my best not to mess this bar up, otherwise <laughs> Kim's going to be pretty angry. So let's just go through some graded cards and then we'll look at the single cards. And yeah, again, I see the comments you guys write, you buy off my store, you buy off my single store and you know, I, I can't thank you more than that. I mean, maybe you would have found my store anyway online, buy something you'd like, or maybe you only found it through the YouTube. Regardless, I'm just going to say thank you. I'm never not going to be thankful. So first start off with this uh, Lilligan V Alt Art. It's actually quite a nice looking one. I do like the way this Alt Art looks. Super kind of, I don't want to use it, it's underrated because that means it's kind of like undervalued, but it is nice. And it's like, 30 40 dollars raw this one was like a hundred dollars psa 10 i think i sold it for 120 and it's not too bad i mean i make a decent little bit of margin there and the buyer gets a nice psa 10 card i think that's i think that's pretty good i think that's pretty fair so we got some character rare charizard this right is so cute i mean this is just such a good right this artist here has been around since the beginning so they're still doing bangers all the way here so we got this Houndoom, Single Strike. I, love, I mean, I love these gold cards. They look so good up front, up close. They're just amazing. And maybe they probably could do them a little bit better, to be honest. Make them a separate, more special version. So they don't look like gold trainer cards, but I still like them. Look at the Aluminium V. Love the way this alt art looks as well. Charizard Breaks in GX. I love to show off the way the cards look and go, Woo! <laughs> A little bit of fun. We've got the Alolan Volpix and then Alolan Nightales. I think these were purchased together. Man, this Ultra Shiny GX Reverse is pretty good. I mean, none of these cards are too expensive. I think most of these are around like $100 each. Charizard, Detective Pikachu, Blastoise, Piplop GX. And for those Americans out there, 100 Australians, like 65 to 70 US. This Kangaskhan EX. Maybe our price is a little bit too low, to be honest. I think it's like 120 for this. And the damage is at the top right here. That's why I got a PSA 8. Can't see anything much more. Yeah, big gnarly chunk at the top there, but hey, that's what you can expect, right? Can't expect. I mean, maybe even an eight's a little bit misgrade, to be honest, but hey, it's already sold. No take backs. And my Mewtwo. Some I put the Mewtwo video up and someone bought it from me. And that, that's just the power of the internet, right? This card actually looks so good, man. Look at that. Look at that background. I should do this more often. You should I maybe in one of my next videos. I'm gonna grab all a certain type of cards from my inventory. Maybe we'll do, actually, you guys in the comments, if anyone's actually watching this video, in the comments, write which typing of cards you want me to show that we have listed, or that I have listed on my graded card store. So type in dragon type cards or fire type cards. I did a few of those videos when I first started. I really enjoyed them. And yeah, if you want to see some fire, water, lightning type cards, just say it and we'll go through. And I'll show them off and see what they look like. Galarian, Berserker V, SR. Her twig v star universe and scarlet and violet promo Pikachu. oh my god i just threw all those cards on the ground hopefully the people who bought these aren't looking at this video oh man i've been playing all my cats too much lately look at those cuts i got all right we got friends in gala v max climax snorlax dark phantasma glaring articuno there's a bunch of modern this was really cheap stuff i think i pulled i think i i might have put this in you know price or something like that i'm not too sure Maybe this is all purchased by a few people at a time, but this is everything that's sold. This is cheap. I'm selling these. I think I might be selling these 151s a little bit too low, but man, I just want to get these cards into the hands of people. This is so nice. You know, my, I think I make like $15 on this Dragonair Art Rare. Maybe some people think that's not worth it for a graded card, but if I make $15 and the person's happy, we're both happy, right? Two happy chappies. These two cards are stuck to each other. Requires a GX and a... Malopony, Mega Lopunny, and Jigglypuff GX. I, I swear they could put M Lopunny and Jigglypuff GX. They don't need to put, like, because they got so many dots and spaces. PSA, man. What's going, what's going on? And we got a Latios. No texture on this one, just full hollow. It's a nice card. And I guess we'll show off some singles now, and then we'll finish with graded. I feel like that's fair. Everyone wants to see singles, right? So, really cool looking Totodile. Is the Champion Road Totodile. It's got like the the embossed gold stamp. I'm not sure if you ever knew about this one, but you know, it's from this 2000 battle kind of 
battle road promo. You have to like battle a whole bunch of people, I guess, and get this promo. And that's pretty much it. It's just a Neo Genesis Totodile, except the star is golden. There's not much to it. And this is an N1 card, so that means it's like our near mint copy. We, we you know, on, on the, uh, how do I explain this? On the greater card store, or the single card store. I'm, I'm slurring my words like crazy. All right, we have played cards, we have near mint, and we have damaged. And some people are curious, even though there are like pretty high resolution photos on the store, some people are still curious to what I would classify as a near mint card, what I would classify as a damaged card, everything like that. And this card right here, near mint, these have very glossy backs, by the way, that looks like scratching and damage, but it's actually not. It's actually more of like a glossy kind of promo. And this is pretty much near mint. And near mint, I would say like, at a minimum, it's like PSA 7, 8 on my single card store. I wouldn't really go much kind of different away from that. Maybe, you know, There'll be some PSA 9s and 10s, but at a, at a minimum, you should expect at least a PSA 7 and 8, especially on older stuff. I never really give out near mints that often. And this card here, you know, it's got edge wear, top left, right, bottom. I just put it as damage. We're not going to go through every single one of them, but I'm just trying to explain a little bit. Sometimes I can be a little bit lenient on plate and damage, but I, I, I'd prefer people be happy with the condition rather than, you know, always messaging me and be like, yo, this, this card's bad and it should be way better and all this other stuff. So does that make sense? This is a damaged card, but you see the big crease goes across. I'm going to make sure I put these exactly how they were given to me. Otherwise, Kim's going to be mad. So we've got the Crawdon, we've got the Metagross, another Reggie Gigas. How many Reggie Gigas does this person buy? Wow. I mean, these might be all different people. I don't actually know. Kim gave me these. So we've got a Kingdra from, what is this? DP5. Pretty good artwork. Love the way the hollow looks. Even damaged cars. They still look so good. So this is damage two. Hey, this car's not that bad. Let's give an idea. I mean, what's wrong with this car? This actually looks like PSA 10. No, nah, not really. Maybe there's like a big dent or something on here. And I just... This probably could have been played. Maybe there's a bend somewhere. Don't want to don't hold up the video too much. But, you know, this is kind of like... This is damaged and this card really doesn't look that bad. So... If you're looking for damaged cards and they're cheaper, but they really don't look that bad, maybe give the store a try. Played one. And you know, my plate is sometimes I do all the condition checking for the for the single card store. And sometimes I'm pretty lean. Like this is played, and you know, this is probably easy PSA. Easy PSA 7. As long as there's no like dent or anything like that. This is easy PSA 7. Probably even PSA 8, in my opinion. But Sometimes a little bit too many scratches or a little bit too much edge wear, like this down the bottom. That's a little bit too much for me personally. So a little bit of a indent there, maybe a bit of edge wear. I still think that grade's like seven. So that's the kind of stuff you might expect. What is this? Played two. I just want people to be happy. They support the store. They deserve their cards. Yeah, this one here. See, there's a little bit of a indent on the right here. I just put it in as played. Looks really nice, to be honest. I mean, this is great condition for a played card. Nimit to Azumarill. Oh, man. This is a clean holo. Look at that. Look at the way the holo looks. Look at that swirl right there. Wow. Ooh, maybe I should refund this person and keep this card for myself. No, nah, I'm kidding. Yeah, that's kind of like a Nimit card. That looks pretty good. That actually probably looks like... Looks like centering. So left, right centering is pretty bad. Obviously, like single card store... I grade a lot of cards, you know, it's, it's no, like, it's pretty obvious that I probably wouldn't put cards up that are like super gem mint, easy tens, but stuff like that. I mean, that's like a PSA nine, PSA eight, nine easily. This has a bit of edge way down the bottom. Azure Roll Delta species. VMAX Climax Charizard. Oh, cool looking. Is that Groval? That is Groval. Oh, ooh, we've got a Glaceon here. Love Glaceon. Oh, seems like someone bought two Glaceons. Pokemon Go Blastoise. That's pretty good. Some 151s. You know, I think I'm uh, pretty much the cheapest in like Australia on 151 reverses. So if you're looking to finish your set, check out the, the store. I mean, I'm not trying to plug the store too much, but if I can save you money, it's pretty good. Got the 7-Eleven promo Pikachu. That's a good one. Oh, Bandit Ring. Magic Carp. I love that one. Ooh, Space Time Creation Gengar. Played 2. Let's see how bad this is. Ooh, it's got a bit of like a teeth mark there. That's pretty bad. Like a child went to bite it, but... It's not super damaged. Most cards that I put as damaged, if the face of the card is like drastically affected, 
by the way the damage is, then I put damaged. But something like this, that's played in my mind. You can disagree, you can have your own condition scale. But we've got a near mint, Delta Species Magic Card, looking pretty clean. I think I had heaps of issues grading like all Delta Species cards and non holo so I don't even try anymore. That's probably PSA 9 all day. All day PSA 9. But you got a bit of a played Gengar. Nothing too crazy. This actually looks really good. Oh, look at that. That's like dancing. Dancing in the moonlight. Is that, is that a song? I'm pretty sure it is. All right. uh, a bit of edge at the top. Mini indent. Um, oh, there's a dent there too. But that's still played. A damaged old back hollow. How bad is it? This looks better than the other one. Okay, this one has a whole bunch of dents all through the back. Yeah, that's damaged. So yeah, you know, if you're buying a damage card and you can't really see what the damage is on the scans, usually we just like send some more photos and kind of point out where the damage would be. This is a near mint Alteria, bit of edge right at the top. Pretty fair. Well, this card's really cool. What the hell? Glossy. Glossy on the back, I think. Look at that. Glass glossy. Looks really nice. This is, looks really nice. Whoever bought that, they should be really happy. More 151 cards. They're pretty cool. I love 151, man. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Before 151 came out, I was like, these cards, eh, another, you know, another callback set with just Charizard, Venus, all Blastoise, all these other things. I wasn't actually that excited for 151. Played Neo Genesis Lugia. But, oh yeah, that's a bit of playware there down the bottom. But, looks really clean. Yeah, I wasn't really excited for 151. I didn't actually buy any. I didn't pre-buy any. I didn't buy any packs. I didn't buy any boxes. I didn't even try. I didn't even sign up for lotteries. I didn't even care. And then it came out, and I was like, damn, these cards are pretty cool. I was wrong. I bought a whole bunch, graded a whole bunch, and I'm selling a whole bunch. So that's my life story about 151. Wow, we sold an illustration Charizard. I have a lot of these, so please buy those off me. We got a damaged Magic Carp from Cardass. I just spent the whole weekend listing Cardass, actually. So Cardass is uh, kind of makes me sick when I think about it. This person bought 151 Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Pikachu. Oh, we got a Manaphy. That's really nice. That's in really good condition. What's that? Tiny bit of... Very, very minuscule. Yeah, this is like... This is a great condition card, well... Um, some vending series card. Looks like we got a vending enjoyer. Ooh, Bulbasaur. Love this artwork. Sumiyoshi Kazuki. Um, Moltres vending. Looks pretty good. Well centered too. Near me. Let me have a look. Wow. Yeah. That's near mid more than I can explain. Uh, there's not much better than that. That's that's a really good condition card. To be honest. Or am I just gassing myself up this whole video? So we got a Meganium, Neogenesis, Fossil Mew, or Alligator, Typhlosion, Neogenesis, Cloyster, and Blastoise. That's pretty good. That's it for the singles. So that that's that's an amazing amount of singles. And I know there's definitely a few YouTube viewers in here who have bought some of these. So I'm I'm just always gonna say thanks because it still blows my mind that I can even do this. So Pichu, Secret of the Lakes. Canopy Art Rare, that's pretty good. Dragon Air Art Rare. Omanite Art Rare. That, someone bought all three of these together, I remember that. So we've got the Dark Rye Cresselia Legend, and this is kind of just a Cresselia Legend. There's no Dark Rye to be seen. Pikachu 151 Art Rare, you'll see a lot of those. Charizard V-Star. Actually, something funny, I mispriced these. I restocked some. I put some back on my site, and I put the price down really low. And then on eBay, the price went down lower. For some reason, I accidentally clicked the button. And started a sale, so that's kind of funny. But I sold those really cheap accidentally, so uh, fixed that problem. But they're still not that expensive. Holland Phantom Psyduck's really nice. I think this is cool because you know I send the cards away. Sometimes I do submission videos and get the cards back. We do a return video, and then this is like the final, final goodbye for some of these cards. We do the final send off. We did sell some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I will say, actually, sorry, this Arceus was 360 Australian, roughly 250 US. It's really expensive, but I had the only one on eBay, and it's an awesome artwork. It's got like three sets of hollows. You see the card itself. It should actually be... 
Is that hollow? Yeah, it's kind of, it's definitely hollow in the back. You can see a big hollow circle there. So the card's hollow, and then it has this like awesome looking hollow that goes across here. You can see the hollow just through these three lines. I love how they do this. It's just, it's just absolutely nuts. This one, you can see the hollow a lot better there. This one actually has hollow on it as well, and then hollow, then hollow again. It says like 15 hollow, hollow, well, hollow layers. Oh my God. 25th Venusaur. So you see, it's a big mixture of like old cards, modern cards, whatever. I think you'll usually see most people who sell cards, usually greater ones too, they'll sell more modern cards than like non-modern cards because they're just a lot easier to get. So, and they're more popular than most of the old cards. Giratini EX Dragon Blast. So, you know, even though most of this is modern, it's kind of like the stuff people want. So it's the stuff I'm trying to provide. Another Charizard V-Star. Ooh, a Ghost Rare. This card is actually so nice. I might have priced some of my Ghost Rares a little bit too low, but... Oh man, that's so cool. A lot of the times, I'll grade cards and I'll price them, and I'll just put them up at like a whatever price. I won't make much money from. Them. I just want to want to. I just want to see if they sell. I want to see if they sell. If they sell, I would go buy some more. Look at this cyber. What is this cyburst magician? There we go. Look at the way he's like dancing around. That's so good. Gengar Mimikyu. This one shot up quite a bit. This is quite an expensive. Ten now. Detective Yoshida. Love this card. We only just got this one back. We got the the dog Yu-Gi-Oh card. I actually sold quite a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh, despite only having like maybe a hundred listings. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh has a good showing. Twenty-fifth Venusaur sold this dragon at Rules of the Heavens. I think I showed this off in my last return video, and I said there's some guy that really wants them all, and he wants to buy all of them. And you wouldn't guess it, but the same guy bought that one. We sold a Zatu and a Natu. Zatu Natu. I know my head's kind of like in the way of this card, but you can see they're both Yukimori. They're matching, and you'll never guess it. Someone bought both of them. We got a Pikachu art rare, another Pikachu art rare, and I made a mistake and sent someone the wrong card, and I need to send them the right card. So this is at the bottom. Didn't actually sell this, but I sold it last week, and I sent them the wrong card because I make a lot of mistakes because I'm a big silly bum. But hey, we're all big silly bums. It's okay to make mistakes as long as you are prepared to fix mistakes and you are good at fixing mistakes. You can make as many mistakes as you want. So. That's it for this weekend's sales. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of this stuff, let me know. Like I said earlier in the video, if you want to see some inventory, I'll, I'm just looking over here, looking at the looking at the inventory stack. If you want to see some fire type, type in, I want to see fire type Steve. If you want to see sidekick or fairy cards, type that in. If you want to see some normal type cards, type that in. Let's, let's make some cool videos. Let's show off some cards. I hope you enjoyed this, guys, and I hope you're doing well. I hope your sales are good. I hope your buying was good. And that's pretty much it. Hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.